Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, Brian here, and I'm here to do a review on issue 209. Now I will let you know, <coughs> excuse me, I got a bit of a cough. I will let you know that I do not physically have 209 in my hands. No, instead, <coughs> excuse me again, and like I said, I got a bit of a cough. Again, like I'm saying though, I don't physically have it in my hands. But, thanks to a friend on YouTube, who many of you might know as Funny Stuff, or Funny Stuffy, or whatever you call himself, I was able to, I guess you could say, read the comic via YouTube, download it, and then watch it on my television. And I have to say that it is a pretty good issue. I mean, we start off basically with a, the preview pages left off, left us, and we basically get a little bit more intrigued about what's going on. <coughs> basically, from what 208 left us, issue 208, which I did get in the mail yesterday, I ordered it, and then I'll have 206 and 207 on the way as well, um, hopefully. Uh, basically, what's going on is that the Iron Domain has taken over New Metropolis. The Iron Queen, as we know, took control of Nicole and is using Nicole to basically imprison the city and have it at her own free will. Now, there's some interesting facts going on here. First of all, when Snively tries to go up to the Iron Queen Sweet Talker, she says she's not in the mood. She's busy and to leave her alone. Basically, what's going on here, <coughs> if you will, is the Iron Queen, I believe, her true colors are being shown little by little. I could be wrong. And the reason that the Iron Queen is busy is because she's currently dealing with the situation that Sonic and Sally are in the digital realm of New Mobotropolis. Basically, th <coughs> thanks to the digitizer, thanks to the digitizer that they used in a previous issue, issue with Shadow and Nicole herself, Sonic and Sally have gone to the digital realm. Here they encounter Nicole. Now, Sally, basically, before they're interrupted by the Iron Queen, tries to convince Nicole to fight the control, to fight the Iron Queen's control, and because she is stronger than this. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now, that temporarily works for a time. It does temporarily work for a time. The Iron Queen, that does temporarily work. For a time, for just a bit, I should say, because Nicole's shaking her head and asking, kind of questioning Sally, asking like Sally, you know, you know, wondering what's going on. But then, like I said, the Iron Queen interrupts. This causes the Iron Queen to gain control of Nicole again. So Sonic basically has to do what he ha does. Basically, does what he normally do does all the time. He tries to spin dash and fight his way. He even spin dashes and fights with Nicole. Believe it or not. The eye in the cold, that is. So finally, they come up with a plan. Sonic distracts the Iron Queen enough by finally, I guess, spin dashing her in the face, her digital face, if you will. And then we hear her saying the line that Robotnik's known for, and that's, I hate that hedgehog. So, anyway... This gives Sally enough time to do to try a second attempt at a firewall. Because the first time she tried, the Iron Queen destroyed any opportunity Sally had. So this time, with Sonic distracting her, she was able to erect a firewall. I guess you could say sort of like magic, and thus disconnect the control that the Iron Queen had over Nicole. Now, with Nicole back to normal, Nicole informs Sally that she is now developing and strengthening her defenses 
and making herself immune, if you will, to the Iron Queen's control. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But, but also she is taking logs, if you will, journalistic logs, of her previous actions while she was under control and wonders if she should be mad, mortified, because these are emotions she does not understand unless you experience them. In other words, like I said in my update, in my, pre in my update about her, Nicole is basically trying to figure out should she be pit mad or should she just be pissed off, if you will. Technically, I go with the term that Nicole is pissed off. She just hasn't really registered that emotion yet. But she is angry. She is mad at the fact that the Iron Queen took control of her. Now, after her and Sally discuss the options that they have, Sally decides that the best thing to do right now is to leave things as they are. But, but, with Nicole acting as a spy, if you will. So in other words, in other words, in case you don't have this issue yet, <coughs> issue yet, or if you've read what other people have said on some message boards and sites, Basically, what Sally asked Nicole to do is become a spy. Thus, Nicole transforms herself back into the Iron Nicole look and basically tells Sally that she'll take care of things from here where her, Sonic, and Tails take care of things in the Dragon Kingdom. That's right. Sonic, Sally, and Tails, along with Monkey Kong, are going to take care of things in the Dragon Kingdom. Now, during all this, while this is taking place in the digital realm, uh, Monkey Con decides that he's got to go do what he must. And what does he must do? Basically, Monkey Con wants to take out Nicole from within the city. Basically, he wants to go to the main, mainframe, if you will, of the city, and destroy it, thus putting Nicole out of her misery. But Tails is in a way, able to convince him that that's not the answer. That is not the answer. And that if it was, why would you even come here? Basically, Tails is questioning Monkey Kong's reason as of to being there if he's willing to give up and destroy the one person that he is I guess his, his love interest, if you will, for the time, the person that he's in love with, or I guess flirting with, if you will, Sally's best friend, Nicole, if he's, if, you know, why is he even there if he's, he's going to do that? Yeah, why not give the person that he cares about, and along with Sonic, the opportunity to save her? So, after convincing him, I guess, reluctantly, Monkey Kong goes back to Freedom HQ, he goes back to Freedom HQ, and just in time, because after Sally and Nicole in the digital realm decide on the plan, I'm sorry about that, uh, computer went blank there for a second, uh, decided to go, decided to, uh, on the plan, basically Nicole starts her acting out, of uh, still being under the Iron Queen's control. And thus, Sally and Sonic are, digit, are taken out of the digital world by, um, by Tails, Tails, and thus all four set off to the Dragon Kingdom after Sally informs them that everything's okay and Nicole is back on her side. Overall, I think this is a very good issue. I'm going to be interested to see how the next couple of issues go. And I'm just wondering if maybe either Lena Da or Snively or someone on the Iron Domain, Onion Dominion side is going to figure out that Nicole is back to her old self again. That's what I'm wondering. But overall, it's a good issue. I think we saw a glimpse 
of what's to come with Monkey Con. Because remember, one of the issues of Sonic Universe is entitled No Love in a Conquering Storm. Or something like that. So it makes you wonder about Monkey Kong. Do we see a glimpse of what's to come in those issues? But overall, it's a good issue. I can't say anything bad about it. And that's all I'm going to say for my very first, believe it or not, very first review of the Sonic the Hitchcock comic book for 2010, issue 209. Again, I don't physically have it in my hands, but I did read it via YouTube, if you will. And I will talk to you all later. Peace out, and God bless.